in June, you had a hundred thousand bucks in cash, right? So I need to understand how you go about raising the cash you need with a market cap of 15 million, 16 million Canadian today without deleting the crap out of your shareholders, use your phrase. Um, that's, that's a tough ask. You know, you've got to you've got to prove a lot of things to someone who's going to stump up that cash. So, what conversations are going on? You know, who's stumping up the cash? What's it going to cost you? And are you going to be able to do all that money at the same time? I mean, what's the plan? Well, I think any, any project finance facility comes with a you know contingent equity component. Uh, do we have enough market capitalization right now to realistically do that? No, right? Can I have those conversations with uh, project finance? private equity groups. It's been going on for a very long time. I typically don't take a pen to a meeting as in gonna sign something right away, unless I know I can deliver on the contingent equity contribution. But there's more groups out there than ever before. They're all looking for access to near-term, uh, tier one jurisdiction, you know, reasonable gold, gold exposure with projects that are robust and our project I think it falls into the robust category at these sorts of at these current gold prices. So we're having those conversations with multiple parties. We'll see where we get to over the next couple of weeks, couple of months. In the meantime, I got lots of technical programs on the go to deliver news into the market to kind of demonstrate exploration upside. You know, the, the reasonableness of this project, our very attractive value proposition to investors. I would hope that that's going to going to resonate with with investors, and I'll. I'll see more buying in the stock. We've already seen that over the last couple of weeks and months as we've been able to get get out there and talk the story more and get new eyeballs on the story. We got US investors calling me now, US investor taking a US investor, sorry, taking a serious serious look at the project. I got overseas investors looking at and investing in the project. So it's sort of coming together now. And it has and honestly, the project's been the same for a couple of years now. We're we're expanding with exploration. The heavy lifting is gold price and investor interest. And we're just poised and ready to go. We've, we've, we've prepared ourselves at the, at the capital structure level for today's environment. And I just need to see my share price go up a little higher. And then I think I can, uh, you know, finalize some, some project finance discussions. Again, US 20 million, US 25 million. Project pays back quickly. It's actually pretty attractive. How much money have you put in? Me, uh, <laughs> um, at the end of this quarter, I'll probably own 10% of the company direct. You know, again, I, I haven't paid myself very regularly, if at all. Uh, I convert to equity. I convert to equity as with basically at, at a higher price than, than typical. Uh, what, 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 sorry, I convert to equity at prices that are higher than your typical you know, junior mining company CEO does. I work with my shareholders. I'm very respectful to them. I've got good relationships with them. It's a two-way conversation. I tell them the plans, the the goals, uh, and then I go and deliver on those. They give me feedback if they want to see more exploration. Then I, you know, manage the manage the programs accordingly. If they want me to scale back, I scale back. It's usually me saying scale back if the market conditions aren't good and we're not getting value for their ask. But it's really about, you know, being aligned with your shareholders, respecting them, and quite frankly, trying to fight hard for valuations that are reasonable and fair, both to an existing shareholder, if we're talking about equity financing. I want a, I want a valuation that's fair and respectful to the my current shareholders and the new shareholders. And I think I can I can meet both of those obligations and, and continue to grow. And, and, and offer more value in the future. So let me be clear, because I want people like this sort of stuff, which is you're taking all of your salary as equity. I, I have to date. I've just, I'm in the process of converting a very large amount of money uh, into, again, I haven't paid myself in years, and i got no issues with that. It's really about, you know, call it sweat equity, which is really what it is, and there's been a lot of sweat. Um, and, and, and just getting the project to where it needs to be, not dropping the ball, uh, and if I do drop a ball, I catch it very quickly and get it right back up. 